All right, we have the foundation of our project in place. Now we're ready to start entering tasks in. I'll show you a couple ways to do this. Now the quickest way to enter a task in is using the entry table. So here I am, I'm in my Gantt chart, I'm in my entry table, I'm scrolled all the way up to the top. So the first task that's gonna be a part of our cloud storage solution creation here is a feasibility study. So let's spell feasibility correctly. Enter. Boom, there we go. Now we have auto scheduling turned on here, so it automatically gives us our tentative one day duration and it gives us our start and finish based on the start of the project. All right, now I can start entering in durations. Let's say I put in seven days here. All right, this is going to be seven work days. So the default unit is days, work days. Let's say I do one week. It's gonna do a work week. So it stops, it finishes on the 22nd. That's not a week, folks, that is a work week. If I wanted to switch it from work days, work weeks to calendar days or weeks, right? Um, I would say, let's do days first. So here we had, uh, let's switch it back to days, seven days, right? It's spilling over here, all right? I'm gonna change that to seven E days. Notice it switches, now the finish date is finishing on the 26th, as opposed to it doing work days, so it's spilling over into these other days here. All right, how about a week, right? So I'm gonna do, instead of one week, all right, let's say I'm doing a actual, I wanted to do an actual calendar week. I could say one E week. Notice that my finish date changes. You can't see it because it's being covered up here by the non-working time, but my finish date changes here to the 26th instead of the 22nd, I believe it was before. So I'm actually gonna leave this as a one work week situation, right? I don't want to do with work weeks, but I want you to see duration is based on work weeks, days, months, and not calendar. If you wanted to do calendar, you have to put that E in front of it, right? And then it'll change to calendar days, weeks, months, years, okay? All right, let's enter in what we would call a milestone. Now, a milestone is a task that has a zero day duration, there's really no work involved. It's more of a checkpoint or a, uh, a deadline or kind of an area for a delineation usually that indicates the start of something or a transition from one phase to the next. So we're gonna do a milestone here for project approval. I'm gonna change this to zero days. And there we go. Right now, this is a diamond. You can't see the full diamond because it's being the you know the uh, non-working time is covering half of it up. Uh, but that is a milestone. Now I could also enter in a milestone by going to the task tab here, and I see task here, summary, milestone. So I'm going to do milestone, and it enters in a new milestone, and I'm going to say project start. Let's get rid of the rest of this stuff. All right, this is why I think it's easier to just type it in because then you don't have to delete things and all that. Project start. There we go. All right, very good. Now, I want to do a recurring task and I want to enter that task in above project approval here, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click. Let's just say in general, I want to insert a new task above something. I can click where I want to insert it and I can hit the insert key on the keyboard gives me a blank line, allows me to insert that task. So I'm gonna to go to my task dropdown and I'm gonna to choose to do a recurring task. When I do recurring task here, I can give my task a name and I'm gonna call this task project status meeting. I'm gonna give it a duration of two hours. And I'm gonna have this happen throughout my project every Monday. Every Monday, we're gonna do this, right? So weekly, every Monday, I'm gonna have it in throughout the life of my project. Now, because we have not uh, put a bunch of tasks in where the project has really a life yet, it's just doing it based on whatever my last task was. So I'm gonna have to go in here and uh, put something in. So let's go ahead and just do it through the end of the year. and we'll schedule this using our project calendar. I'll click OK. Now, anytime there's a task, all right, and this is most likely our Labor Day, it's not gonna let us do this on a Monday, 
I can choose to reschedule this or not create that one task. I'm going to say yes to reschedule it. And you can see, yes, that Labor Day right there, it's moving that to the Tuesday. Okay. And there is my recurring task. Okay. So very easy to begin to enter tasks in, whether they be regular tasks, milestones, or recurrences. We'll learn about summary tasks and things later on. And we're going to also learn that we can import tasks into project.